Oh, Lord. You know, I'm very happy with a lot of the things that we do here on this channel. We provide entertainment at a degree that most people couldn't even dream of. That being said, I think we need more. I think we can do better. I need a team. I'm sitting here doing all the behind the scenes stuff, the front of the scenes stuff. In Hollywood, that's unheard of. I edit, I act. It's not really an act, it's just who I am. But, regardless, I'd like to see this channel grow and the success continue. As you guys deserve top quality content. Even better than what I'm giving you currently. But in the meantime, I must try as hard as I can with what I have. There is no excuse to say I cannot do something because I don't have the materials, I don't have enough money, I don't have this, I don't have that. That's not true. I started with a cell phone, a GoPro, and literally a mask just like this. That you guys saw. Well, this is actually going to be on the podcast. Anyways. Let's get into this comic book read, guys. We are officially on Death Metal Issue 5. Last week, we rounded up Rise of the New God. The Chronicler and Metron are going to do what they can to save the multiverse. So, I know, I know. This is the part where you're expecting someone to give you a pep talk. Hi. I can do it if you want. I can use the one Wonder Woman gave on my world. See, I had them down and out. All the heroes, but then she, she gave this speech about never accepting an ending, fighting like there's always tomorrow. Uh, uh, and guess what? They won. Wonder Woman for her honor and courage. Afterwards, the speech became famous. Even hollowed. Everyone learned it. Folks even gave Wonder Woman this medal to honor it. Ha! I mean, I'd already booby-trapped the medal with God Killer Sword needles so that it killed her and the world fell to me. But what speech? Here, it started like this. I'll try to do your voice. Sisters, brothers, today, Robin King, come. You can kill them soon enough. No, fight us here, coward, no! The fight is long over, Diana. You lost the moment you struck me down. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a god to kill. Castle Bat, hold them until it's time. Yes, my lord. Holy shit. What the fuck? Everyone, take a limb. I'm not doing damage. Me neither. There's a, there's a rot force in the bricks. The creature ah, is in my consciousness, infused with Gotham. It's made of every material ever produced in Kane County. Everything? Red sun particles, no! Ah, courtesy of Gotham's astrophysics lab circa 1901. Diana, get out of here. You're fast enough to escape! We can take this thing down! No, it's too! Boom! For you, Bruce, playing Intertron from the cave itself. And you, Diana, what shall I choose to fell you? The Mad Monk's lair held all sorts of items. From hepatitis tongues to erotic gems, the Oblivion Bar's entrance lay in Gotham, so maybe pieces of the Knight's Sword. So many choices, but regardless, there is where you meet your... <laughs> ah! Boom! I think the word 
he was looking for was... Doom. Enter Lex Luthor. Holy motherfucking of all God, guys. Lex Luthor has entered the picture. So, uh, this comic book takes place seconds before the Batman who laughs goes to fight Peneptula in The Rise of the New God. So, again, some of these kind of go back a little bit so that they interact once the fight happens. As you guys know, Metron and the Chronicler are watching that fight go on. I believe this one's going to actually take the perspective of the Batman who laughs and Peneptula in their fight. Holy shit, uh, Lex Luthor just showed up. Uh... Yeah, Doom, which is, you know, uh, Lex Luthor's, his Justice League, he calls the Doom. But anyways, this is awesome. I can't wait, guys. This is Death Metal Issue 5. Make sure you guys are hitting that like button, sub button, and join button. I'll see you in next week's comic book read. Man, these are getting fun, and we're almost done. Uh, I'd say another 13 months, and we will be done. See you in the next one. Jelly Wave!